Now that the keyframe is bedded, uh, it's time to take samples. Samples of uh, the bedding and samples of strike. And with those, we can set up on the bench to accurately regulate. Um, so it's one trip out to the bench, regulate, and one trip back to the piano. This is the Grandwork sampling kit. It comes with uh, 10 key steps that are 10 millimeters minimum and 10 that are 12 millimeters uh, since there are different size key pins and different size space under the keys, between the keys and the front rail. Uh, it also comes with two machine screws and a ratcheting wrench and a 200 gram weight. One of the things I'm going to sample is uh, I'm going to take middle E and put a, a key step under it and raise that key to the level of um, the straight edge spanning from uh, note 1 to note 88. And I need for none of the other keys to touch that straight edge. So I have cut a little slot out of two yellow punchings and placed one under uh, uh, on the balance pin under the key of note number 1 and note number 88 so they are slightly raised. The middle sample sets the overall shape of the front rail. Um, the bedding samples will put a key step under one key that goes beside each of the studs. Now in this case there are four glide bolts and so there are going to be four keys that uh, have a key step and those key steps get turned up to the key, and when they connect with the key, they become a bedding sample. Um, and what is meant by that is the key rests on the balance rail and the back rail, and uh, then it will also be touching the front rail through the key step. And that records the shape of the key frame here in the piano. When we go out to the bench, we'll either adjust um, bedding platforms of regulation station or uh, in the case of this piano, we're going to be just doing this on a bench. We use the um, glide bolts again to make adjustments to for the symptom to be the same with the key steps. Once that is in place, then we take samples of strike. Those hammers will block and we will let them off with a weight at the front of the key. And for that weight, use the WNG dip block which nicely positions itself so that it will be in the same position out on the bench when we recreate this with templates from the uh, regulating rack. Okay, so first thing I've done is I removed punchings from the four keys that are going to be bedding samples in front of the four glide bolts and an extra one I removed the punchings under um, under note E. Um, one thing that is necessary is to not have the shanks resting on their rest rail or you know I took the rest rail off and there was so much lost motion they were sitting on the little keepers of the uh, repetition levers. Uh, so anyway I in the end I've raised the shanks up off of that and we end up with a, a fairly small space um, which the 10 millimeter key step will accommodate. So I put one of those over each of my samples. And I chose the D. I could have chosen the C but uh, there, there, there would be a sharp between there and the glide bolt, so I think D is a good choice. 
then here's a key step for E. Here I've chosen F. Could have chosen E, uh, but just in terms of the spacing of the keyboard, you know, either would work. And then finally, note 88. So you can, um, this is a full fitting front rail. Uh, if it wasn't, I would have to have uh, the um, cheek box in. I've taken the spring out. Uh, the spring creates pressure and friction, at, which affects the two ends of the keyframe, which are already the stiffest anyway. With that bedding, the bedding to go into the customer's home or to go into a concert requires pedals because there's a lot of leverage from a pedal wire and it changes um, the shape of the key bed. Unfortunately, there's enough play in the system, enough give that the action will follow it and um, you, you won't be introducing knocks at one end or the other um, as it changes shape. But our bench does not have a pedal and it doesn't have a spring. And so uh, I want to take samples of the way the action sits in the piano uh, without those pressures so that I can recreate it on the bench, do my, uh, my regulating. And then when I reinstall, I'll redo uh, the bedding with the um, pedals on. Okay, so I've taken off uh, the punchings and added key steps to the bedding samples and what we have to do uh, is raise the little machine screw in the key step until there is no tap. Now if you if you put a little pressure on then you want the key step to be centered on the key and there's a little bit of play this way and, you, and pressed back. And if you just have a little pressure with your finger there, as you raise it, another thing you can do is, is back the key step up that little fraction of a millimeter. You get a tap, push it forward. Okay, there's still a tap there now. So it's a very small amount, I think. No tap, tap. No tap. So you just do that to all four of these samples. Uh, this one has a bit further to go. So one way uh, turns it this way and flip it over to do it that way. And I'm just going to put the ratcheting side on to speed up our work a little. Because the, um, because the key is tilted up slightly, this gives a little bit of a triangle. And so when we pull the key step out, there's more space than when we push it in. Pretty fine. Okay, now we don't touch that one yet. Closer, very close. Here it goes up in pitch. Good. And finally, this one's got a ways to go. Um, I'm going to put this one in place and then we'll take the middle sample. So, crown side down. Make the straight edge flush with the front of the keys, which is very reproducible. I have a fairly substantial space, which um, I can take up this way a bit.
Okay. Now again, I'm going to put a little pressure on that. Make sure it's centered. Not there yet. Getting close. Not quite there. Okay, um, I'm there. If this goes too far at all, one end or the other will start to tap and it will become, uh, it will want to skate. It will lose traction on the key. And when it's in the right place, all three spots uh, do not have a tap and it stays in one position. And please like, subscribe, or follow the link in the notes to my website.